for more than a decade all across the eastern United States, Homeland has sung their way into the hearts of Christians and non-Christians alike. Homeland were first place winners in the National Part-Time Singing Convention sponsored by Cross and Crown Promotions and completed the Dr. Charles Novell Christian School of Gospel Music in Cincinnati. With 10 recorded projects and three national releases, they are currently signed with Danny Funderburg at Sunsound Music. Their latest radio single is Heaven, We Call It Homeland, on the Heartlight Record label. Over the years, God has blessed Homeland in many ways, but the greatest honor has been to see lives changed and souls saved. And to Him, they give all the glory. Live from Columbus, Ohio, Homeland.
so how tonight thank you so much bless your heart it's good to be here y'all can get on the bus and go with us when we leave how's that Woo, you're fired up got jesus in your heart we're glad we're glad that we can be here first time we've been in this part of the country and we are we are really really enjoying it we thank you so much let me introduce the group to you right quick as you can already tell if it wasn't for this lady in this group, wouldn't be any looks in here at all. <laughs> you don't have to get too excited about that. <laughs> she sings the tenor part for us. Does a fine job, fine Christian lady. About four and a half years ago, she was diagnosed with MS. And praise God, she has not missed the singing. She's, uh, she don't like to fly. She flew for the first time not too long ago. From Raleigh, Durham to O'Hara Field, in Chicago. They were at about 30,000 feet, and it was on one of those planes that had three engines. All of a sudden, the engine on one side went out. Pilot came on and says, don't worry, we've just lost an engine, but we've got two more. We'll just be delayed another 30 minutes into Chicago. Well, they flew along a little, little later and they lost the other engine on the left side. Pilot said, don't worry, we've got the main engine left. We'll just be delayed another 30 minutes into Chicago. And as witty as she is, they came on and says, we have lost the last engine. The pilot says, folks, we have lost it. Betty said, oh, Lord, we're going to be up here all day. <laughs> now, I made that up because you can see she's here. Would you make her welcome, Miss Betty Linthicum? <laughs> this is her husband over here on this side. He's got that heavenly hair. No parting up there. 
sings the bass for us, and I think he does a fine job, don't you? I got to tell you this story about him, though. We were in Louisville, Kentucky at the National Quartet Convention last year. And listen, folks, we're country. We're pure we're country. Rednecks. Yeah. Yeah. We are pure country, folks. We love it. I was raised that way, and we love it. And we, we went in this restaurant. We didn't know that you're supposed to wear a tie in the restaurant. We had on coats. Everybody had on a tie except Earl. He went in. The, the manager of the restaurant says, no, you can't, you can't come in here without a tie on. So he goes back to the bus, and he looks, and he looks, and he looks, and he looks, and he can't find a tie. So he found an old set of jumper cables in there that, that was in, that's in every bus. He put those jumper cables around his neck, crossed them right here, and stuck them inside of his coat and come back in, walked into the manager and says, how's this? Manager looked at him and said, you can come on in here, but you better not start nothing. <laughs> Sings the bass for us. Make him welcome, Mr. Harold Lentigan. <laughs> come on up here, old man. I'm glad to have him with us because we finally got somebody that's older than I am in the group. But I got to tell you a story. He looked after his wife, constantly doing everything for her. She came home one night, had come home for two or three weeks complaining about the bathroom floor being so cold. She said, you got to do something about that bathroom floor. He went out and bought the nicest, plushest carpet that you've ever seen and put it on the floor. Said she liked it so well, he ran it all the way up to the house. He sings the next song on this album that, that we're doing uh, tonight. It's a song written by a young man down in Fayetteville, North Carolina. I don't know about you, but I'm thankful for those precious hands. Mr. James Austin, make it welcome to us. Just like me Oh, the pain and shame that he bore Was meant for sinful man He gave his life and he paid the price When they nailed those precious hands They nailed his hands to a tree
forgot to introduce this fellow right here, our manager and our lead singer. I want you to make him wel welcome. His name is Mr. Belton Jorgen. <laughs> you know, I realize why the Lord put me in this group. Why? Let me tell you a little story. Did you hear the story about God and Adam walking in the Garden of Eden? God says to Adam, he says, Adam, how do you like that woman I made for you? Adam says, oh, I like her. She's just fine. He said, I know. I made her that way, so you'd like her. Well, a couple of days later, they were walking again, and God said to Adam, he said, Adam, how do you like that woman I made for you? Adam says, oh, she's fine. She's got prettiest hair, prettiest teeth. He said, I know. I made her that way, so you'd like her. Well, a couple of weeks passed. They were walking again in the Garden of Eden. All of a sudden, God said to Adam, he said, Adam, how do you like that woman I made for you? Adam said, she is dumb. God said, yeah, I know, I made it that way, so she'd like you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Our latest release that this fellow has just written is called Heaven, We Call It Homeland. Listen to Mr. Felton Jorgen. I'm singing my way toward heaven as I live from day to day. And when I see those pearly gates, that's when I'll finally say, I want to sing my Savior gospel song. I want to shake his nails for heaven. Then I want to sing all over heaven. I'll be singing in the heavenly homeland. Heaven, we call it homeland. We're going to get to sing with all of God's children that are walking narrow way. Heaven, we call it homeland. You must be born again to join us in that homeland. I've sung in churches, I've sung in tents, and I've sung on a flatbed truck. I've sung many places for my Lord. I didn't make a buck. But when I sing in that heavenly home with God's great big band, then I know I finally reached my goal, I get to sing in the heavenly homeland. Heaven, we call it homeland. We're gonna get to sing with all the God's children that have walked the narrow way. Heaven, we call it homeland. You must be born again to join us in that homeland. Heaven, to join us and let's sing with the saints of old. We're gonna sing at the pearly gates. We're gonna sing on the streets of gold. Heaven, we call it homeland. You must be born again. You must be born again. I said you must be born again to join us in that homeland, heavenly homeland, in that Thank you so much. One of the finest songs that Phil Cross ever wrote, I believe, and this girl does the finest job I've ever heard. It's called The Highest Hill. I want you to listen. Some see the fall.
You know, life is a journey, something we all have to travel every day, and we don't know what's going to happen to us tomorrow, do we? None of us do. You know, when I found out I had this uh, disease called multiple sclerosis, believe me, I was devastated. It was a lot of time I cried about it. And I got down on my knees to the Lord, and I said, Lord, there's nothing I can do. You know, this is a disease that nobody here on this earth can cure. You're the only one. You're the only one. And you know, I just cried out to him. And I don't know whether you ever experienced this or not, but I heard a voice. It wasn't like you and I speaking to each other, but I just heard this little voice. It just, just kept going over and over in my head. It said, trust me. Trust me. And I'll never forget that. I know that was the Lord speaking to me. Wants me to trust Him for whatever happens with my disease. You know, that's the same way for all of us. I don't care what valley you're in. I don't care whether it's a disease or, or some kind of financial problems. The Lord wants you to trust Him. If you're a child of God, you can put your trust in Him. Because whatever He does, that'll be for your good. You know, it talks about in Romans 8, 28. For those who love the Lord, all things work together for good. And I know that's what's going on with me today. And I just love Him. And I hope if you don't know the Lord here tonight, that you'll get to know Him pretty soon. Because I'm telling you, you may think you don't need Him, but you will. You'll come to a time in your life you're going to need Him. And He'll be there for you. He's there for you all the time. You just got to reach out for Him. Because we'll always see Him guiding us from that highest hill. For 1998, written by Phil Cross, called I Am Redeemed. I was a slave in a foreign land, so very far from the Father's loving hand. Listen, He rescued me. Day. He brought me up, paid the debt I could not pay. I am redeemed. I am redeemed. Jesus loosed the chains of sin and set me free.
chains of sin and set me free. Still I live in a foreign land, but now I'm free according to redemption's plan. And soon I'll join the road in white hurry deep. I'm gonna sing the song the holy angels cannot sing. I am redeemed. I am redeemed. Jesus loosed the chains of sin and set me free. Some glorious morning that will come from all nations, from every generation. Side by side they will march in the celestial city of Jehovah and in perfect harmony begin humming a new song. A song composed by God, arranged for his children as the saved by grace approach the land of their dreams. The host of heaven will step aside, even the angels will be silent, for they cannot sing this new song. For it's a song reserved for the voices who once cried out for their redeemer. Those washed in the blood of the Lamb. Yes, these are the redeemed. in the celestial city of Jehovah and in perfect harmony we will begin humming a new song a song composed by God arranged to his children as we the saved by grace approach the land of our dreams the host of heaven will step aside and even the angels will be silent for they cannot sing this new song but this new song is our song yes we are the ones who are washed in the blood of the lamb yes we are redeemed Set me free. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll come back next week. The Lord is here, folks. His, his presence is here. Praise God for that. We're going to change up the pace here a little bit. We're going to do something that we probably ought not do. Because we almost didn't record this song. Because when we heard it, it had women doing the back ground vocals on it and we didn't have but one woman and I so I said we can't do that song Betty said no 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 let's try it. she said I think I can teach these guys how to sing like yeah, a right. woman <laughs> and now we're going to let you decide here tonight if you think that she's done a good job of teaching these guys how to sing like a woman now this is a mess folks y'all hang on it's an old song called Satisfied. Here we go. Well, you may ask me if I'm happy, if I have sweet peace within, or if I'm worried about tomorrow when I reach my journey. I'm satisfied with my sweet Jesus, don't you know? And when he knocks upon my door, I've got to let that man in. He'll go with me through that old valley. For you know, he's my friend. Satisfied, satisfied, satisfied. 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 No trouble. seeds of kindness they let thorns in my path grow well it won't matter over yonder when I reach my journey's in oh now I'm gonna sit down I'm gonna sit down by my sweet Jesus by my sweet Jesus for you know he's my friend he is my friend satisfied, satisfied. I'm satisfied satisfied oh, Seeds of kindness, they let thorns in my path grow. Well, it won't matter over yonder when I reach my journey's in. Oh, now I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna sit down, by my sweet Jesus, by my sweet Jesus. For you know, He's my friend. Did she do a good job? 
Amen. Thank you. Want to do a want to do a song for you, and I want you to listen to this. A 14-year-old boy wrote this next song that we're fixing to do. It just blows my mind how a 14-year-old can put together the words of a song like this. You know, the Bible says take your, take your problems to the throne of grace. And I am so glad that grace prevailed for you and I. Listen to a song that says grace prevailed. When the crowd they stood and they mocked his name And as they led him to Calvary in chains It was there his precious blood was shed Doing just as his father and then on Calvary, grace prevailed. Grace prevailed over sin and death. The battle was won, love has stood the test. Oh, Satan was conquered. take grace for granted. I want you to listen to what he did on the cross. Now there were prisoners on his right and left hanging there for their crimes of theft but Jesus his only crime was love Just call on his name, for grace has prevailed. Grace prevailed over sin and death. The battle was won, love has stood the test. Oh, Satan was conquered. His name is Mr. Kevin Lewis from down in Ashburn, North Carolina. And I'm sure you'll be hearing some more of that song. Tell you what I'd like to do right now. 
I want to do an old song that I used to sing and my daddy used to sing. I was standing by my window on a cold and cloudy day when I saw the hearse come rolling for to take my mother away. Oh, will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by. There's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Now will the circle, will the circle be, be unbroken by and by, and by Lord, by and by. Now there's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Yes, there's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Thank you so much. That back in North Carolina is what we call front porch singing on Sunday afternoon. How you like these suits? Aren't these suits snazzy? Well, we call them our Sears sucker suits. Thank you. That's the sucker it took us to Sears to get them. I got to tell you about this. This is a story and a half now. We went to get these suits. James and I, we got fitted up. But of course, uh, one of us took a little bit longer so, you know, the lady helped him. He went back and he tried his suit on and he come back out. And anyway, she said, how is it? She says, it looks good, but it looks good, but the, uh, the pants are a little bit too long. She says, no problem. Just pull them up and put your knees together like that. How's that? He said, oh, it's okay. Help me, Lord, I'm going to lie. Said, what else is wrong? Well, they're a little bit big in the waist. And she said, no problem. Just... Put your arm down there and hold it like that. And, you know, it, it, I support it. He said, oh, yeah, okay. That looks good. What else? She said, well, the sleeve is a little bit too long over here. She pulled it up. And, well, that's fine. But over here, this, this comes down. She said, pull it up, tuck it down like that. <laughs> you know. Oh, how does it look? Oh, he lo oh, he said, oh, this looks so good. Matter of fact, I want to wear it home. James and I backed up. We got about 25 feet behind this guy walking down the sidewalk. And here he goes, walking in this suit just like this, and walking along. And we were looking, and two old ladies went by. And as they got near us, one of them said, did you see that poor fella? Says he was pitiful. No one says, yes, but his suit fit good. <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, he's been on a diet. Been on two of them. Couldn't get enough to eat on the first one. <laughs> but we are, you know, I kid about him. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a great man. Good heart. He wrote another song that we want to do. And, and in our past almost 11 years, this is something that, you know, we have seen in so many churches. And he got the idea for a good song and put this down. And it, we've released this in the past. And now preachers, everywhere we go, preachers love this song. It's called, Don't Blame the Preacher. We go to church on Sunday, looking for something to say. We criticize the preacher before we even pray. Well, we talk about this and we talk about that Not a one thing about the cross Just blame it on the preacher For all the souls that are lost You better go to church every Sunday To praise and worship the Lord You better look at yourself and put God first Lay down that double-edged sword Stop blaming the preachers and everyone else Because the attendance is low When next Sunday morning you stay awake I wonder why the church won't grow When Jesus hung upon that cross With his head bowed to the ground He 
could have called 10,000 angels to come and take him down. So let's not complain, we got heaven to gain. We'll put on a robe and crown. That man of God deserves our praise instead of being put down. You better go to church every Sunday to praise and worship the Lord. You better look at yourself and put God first. Lay down that double-edged sword. Stop blaming the preachers and everyone else because the attendance is low. When next Sunday morning you stay awake, I wonder why the church won't grow. You better go to church every Sunday to praise and worship the Lord. You better look at yourself and put God first. Lay down that double-edged sword. Stop blaming the preachers and everyone else because the attendance is low. When next Sunday morning you stay away, I wonder why the church won't grow. Stop blaming the preacher and everyone else because the attendance is low. When next Sunday morning you stay away, I wonder why the church won't grow. I wonder why the church won't grow. sure you all have been down and disheartened, but somehow or another, when I call on his name, everything seems to pick right up. Listen. Oh, 
As we look around us today and we turn on the TVs at night and the news comes on and we see all these things about murders, shootings in our schools, moral decay throughout our society. We think things are, are really bad, and they are. But you know, if you're a born-again Christian, if you're bought by the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, then one day it's going to be joy, joy, joy when that trumpet sounds. It'll be joy. Battles all around me, troubles are abounding, so much confusion everywhere. Things taking place that I've never dreamed of, such an uneasiness in the air. Don't know how long the Lord's are gonna tarry, but I'll be ready when He calls me. It's so good, it's so good just, just to know Him. It'll be joy, it'll be joy when I see Him. With great love, love, I'm gonna greet Him. It'll be joy when I say the cares me hope. Promises broken, wars and strife on every hand. No need to think that I'm a gonna change it. These are the deeds of a mortal man. But I know the Lord has promised me heaven, a beautiful place not made with hands. It's so good, it's so good just to know Him. It'll be joy, it'll be joy when I see Him. With great love, with great love, I'm gonna greet Him. It'll be joy when my Savior carries me home. so much. It'll be joy when my Savior carries me home. I can't let this program go by without putting this song, singing this song for you because it's touched a lot of hearts. You see, it's going to be joy for me especially because back in 1979, my wife and I lost a son in an automobile accident. He was 20 years old. He played the drums for a group that we were singing in at that time. And myself, like so many other folks, I got mad at God and I, I turned away from music and I turned away from church. And unbeknownst to me, the Lord was putting it all back together again. And you see, it's been a steady climb with me ever since. Because the one thing that I do know is he was saved. And he was only loaned to us for a while. See, he belonged to God all along. If you've got a loved one that's gone on to be with the Lord, whether it be a child or whether it be a, a sister or brother or husband or wife, if there was one thing that they could look down and see you and get your attention and just say something to you I think you know what I think they would say is I wish you were here no more pain no more rain everything is just so beautiful up here I just wish you were here 
Now, folks, the only way you're going to get there is to become a child of God. This song has blessed me in so many ways. Maybe it'll bless you. Listen. I can just see them walking on the shores of heaven. They're praising the Lord, watching the time. can't imagine in my wildest dreams what it could be like there. You, we think we do. I can just see them walking on the shores together. They're talking with Jesus, safe and secure. It's going to be, folks. I want you to listen to a song.
sad to see those early in days of But in heaven, no more grief or pain. Real eyes are whole again. Oh, and what The thing I like about that song is that second verse, it talks about the crippled and no more pain and no more crippled folks in heaven. Folks, we're going to have a new body there. Amen. Oh, my wife has a sister that's got rheumatoid arthritis. She's in a wheelchair. But praise God, she's going to have a brand new body when she gets there. Won't be. Let's turn that around and do that second verse again. Come on. to see those who in misery. Listen to this, man. That's what I like right here. But in 